Oh. Bless you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we have this 2020 Dodge Charger in the shop. And what we're going to be doing today is removing the passenger side window tint and replacing it with Lumar's CTX 5% film. All we have to do right now is turn on our Jiffy steamer, grab our stool, sit down, and start taking off this old window tint. So let's go ahead and get started. You've definitely heard me say before that we take our window tint off with the Jiffy steamer. The Jiffy steamer is gonna take the film off really nice and easy. Hopefully it'll come off without leaving any glue. If it does leave glue, that's no problem. We'll take our razor blade and our slip solution and scrape all the glue off of the window. When I remove window tint, I just start off in the top edge, pick a corner, peel it with my knife a little bit, then grab it with my fingers and just begin to pull. Thankfully, it looks like, looks like this window tint is coming off without leaving any glue, which is always the best case scenario. Ah. It is the exact same process with the quarter window as well. So now that all the window tint is off of the back door and the back quarter window, we're going to take our advanced adhesive remover, spray it on the window and let it sit for about five minutes. What this is going to do is it's going to eat away at any glue that could be on the window. And I'm pretty sure you can buy this online at fusiontenttools.com, so be sure you go check them out. Now, if you're wondering why I said we were going to scrape the window with my razor blade and scraper, and then you're wondering why I didn't do it, it's probably important for me to mention that Dodge products, a Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, the glass is very soft, so it's going to scratch very easily. So if you have to scrape the window, you always want that to be a last case scenario. You never want to do that right off the bat. You want to use other methods of glue removal to take the glue off of the window, which is another reason why it's important to use a steamer and do it the proper way when taking window tint off of a window. Now, unlike the passenger rear door, this film is coming off with all the glue. And what I mean by that is that all the glue is staying on the window. So I'm really gonna have to count on that advanced adhesive remover to take all this glue off of the window. And if it doesn't, like I said, we're gonna have to scrape the window. After we get done spraying down this front window, we're gonna go ahead, jump back to the back door and apply that film to the window. We're gonna let this soak um, until it... <coughs> yeah, don't breathe this in either. Actually, when you spray this, be sure you wear a mask. I should be wearing a mask and I'm not, so... Don't breathe this in, wear a mask. We're gonna let that glue sit for 10 to 15 minutes, however long it takes me to do this back door. So let's go ahead and get started on the back. For the most part, this window is clean. So what we're going to do now is take our slip solution, which is just baby shampoo and water. If you wanna know how many pumps of baby shampoo I use, I use 15 pumps and water from the faucet. We're gonna take our 3M scrub pad that you can order off of Amazon. Give the window a quick scrub to make sure that it's clean for the new application of 5% window tint. We're then going to wipe our top edge with our microfiber cloth. There's a bunch of dirt that is going to sit up on that top edge, so it's always very important that you do wipe that down. I know you've all heard me say that a million times, but I do get questions of people wondering, what can I do to prevent contamination from getting inside of my window tint? That's one of the big things. Spray down your edges, bottom edge, side edges, missed the middle. Now you're gonna grab your film and apply it to the window. It would probably be an important time to mention that we did take the bottom seals out, which makes it easier to apply the film using the bottom loading technique rather than the two-stage method. My top edge is lined up, it's about as small as it can be, so then I will take my squeegee, push out the clean soapy water, take my swipe, 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 take my side swiper, and swipe both edges. We are kind of working on three windows at one time. Before I roll that up, I'm actually going to go ahead and prep this quarter window the same way we prepped that one. However, instead of just wiping the top edge on this window, I'm going to wipe the entire thing because there will be dirt that collects up in here and will get inside of the window tent. So another thing you can do to prevent contamination. I hope you all enjoy the YouTube videos. I know they might not be the most entertaining thing, but I find them fun to record and edit and let y'all see. Hopefully you learn something every now and then. And if you really watch, just to watch me. Thank you. Now before we roll this window up, I'm going to take my torch, apply a little bit of heat on the outside of the window. That way it will activate the adhesive and the film will not peel once it hits that top edge. And then once you get it rolled up, all you have to do is push out the clean soapy water on the bottom and then you are practically done with this door. This one is going to be the exact same process 
However, instead of spraying my slip solution on it at first, I am going to use Windex. What the Windex is going to do is it's going to eat away at any other glue that might be on the window. As you saw, wear a mask with this stuff too. As you saw before, this window left a lot of the glue on the glass. So what we're going to do is spray it down with Windex, give it a quick scrub with our scrub pad, and then squeegee off this dirty soapy Windex, and then we'll be good to go. And then once the film is on there, same thing as before, propane torch, heat the top edge, and then roll it up and squeegee out the bottom half of it. All right, now the only thing left to do is heat up the bottom, put the bottom gasket back in, and then clean it up for the customer and they should be good to go. All right, so here are the after results to this 2020 Dodge Charger. 5% on the front doors, 5% on the back half with a ceramic window tint. If you enjoyed the video today, please do not forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and follow us on Facebook or like our page or whatever you do over there on Facebook. I think you like the page. It's pretty sure it's like the page, right? Yeah, go like us on Facebook. Also, go check out our new website, GlacierWindowTinting.com. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you just enjoyed it. You liked what you saw. You enjoy watching me. You enjoy watching the work. Whatever the reason may be, if you're watching this video, thank you very much. If you're watching this part of it, that means you watched the whole thing. And um, I greatly appreciate that. So thank you very much. And I suppose I will see you all next week.